Okay, folks, listen, I know you guys read that Southern, right? When you saw Southern in the title, you hurry up and clicked on it, right? Today, we're doing something super simple. Look, we're doing Southern potatoes and onions. And guess what? We're going to level it up with a little bell pepper. Let's get it. All right, folks, then listen, I'm going to fly over some of these ingredients. Obviously, it's not a whole lot to it right here. Listen, and don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, if you guys come here and take a look, listen, we're going to be using avocado oil. I don't use it enough on my channel, but look, these have been my go-tos, especially for the smoke point, right? This is made by Branch and Vine. Look at their bottle. I'm about, I gotta say, look, he didn't level them up. You know what I mean? So look, I'm gonna set this over here. And this right here is why my, uh, anytime I use salt or anything like that and I can do a substitution, I like to use this premium, you know, sea salt, right? This is a bacon flavor. It happens to be a vegan product. I wish I can open this up and let you guys smell it because man, the aromatic that comes off of this is just crazy. Now, if you don't have this, it's a few of y'all don't have it. You know what I mean? But if you don't have it, we can always use salt. And don't forget, on the, in the ingredient list on my website, I have everything that you need just in case you don't have what I have, right? So listen, got yellow onion. We got some gold potatoes. Now look at this. This is a nice red bell pepper. Then I got some spices right here. It's super easy. And then if you take a look right here, we doing it in the skillet. All right, so listen, the first thing I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start with our onions, right? Because we want to get a little, get them to start to brown first, right? So I don't want to, so I'm just going to cut that off and then I'm going to go ahead and just peel this first layer out. So just give me a minute and I'm going to show you it's a reason why I do this because I'm going to take these and when I cut it, I want the rings. All right. So when I said I, I want the rings, that's because I want to cut it and I want them to come out, you know, just like this. Like we make an onion rings, you know, real simple. Right now, I do have a mandolin. I'm going to use that for you guys that don't. You just want to cut them. The mandolin makes it easy because I want them to be the same thickness. Right. So I did a little sample. That right there is what I like to see. You know what I mean? So we'll go from there. Again, it's about having them in so they be uniform and even, right? So I just bring it like this. I'm gonna do a few. We're not gonna use all of them, but check it out. Love using the mandolin. I know they got a bad reputation of being unsafe. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you use the attachments that they give you, just protect your fingers. All right, so look, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that right there. That's why I said we were going to do them all. Uh, yes, sir. Now, you guys can use whatever size rings you want. I'm going to do a, a variety. All right, so listen, what I did was I'm starting to preheat my uh, cast iron skillet, right? I'm going to be using, I'm going to show it to you guys again, because listen, we got to start using that, you know, this uh, avocado oil. I don't always use it, but listen, this is pretty much going to be my go-to right now. And I believe they have this in uh, different infusions, right? All right, so I can see, I can see the shimmer coming off of the, the avocado oil. I know it's not starting to get hot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my onions, right? Now we just want these to brown just a little bit. You know what I mean? So this is why I put it, you know, I start these first. I always do my onions first because it takes a minute, right? Let me adjust it. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit now that I have it in there and let it settle in. So now I wanna coat it all right and there's nothing like having an infused uh, oil anyway you know what I mean but like I said this is avocado now once I have it all coated like this right now check out this next part we're gonna go ahead and get this bell pepper together nice and clean now I want you guys to notice how I'm cutting this down you see this little piece right here I call it like the rib, right? You can actually run your knife across it like this and just take it out. See how I cut that out? Lost a lot of flesh too, but this right here is good. I like when I add, you know, bell pepper to it, I like for it to be a little bit on a thick side. I don't want to do like a super fine dice. That's all we need right there. All right? I'm going to do one more. And then we add that to the skillet. All right, so we're starting to soften up. You can see a little bit of brown starting to form, just a little bit. The key is, listen, when you're messing with onions, you know what I mean, you shouldn't be moving them around. I'm doing a lot of movement, you know, for the visual, but to be honest with you, I'm gonna get this down like this and just leave it like that, right? Now, we just diced up the red bell peppers. We'll go ahead and add those and we'll start to get these to soften up just a little bit. Last thing we gotta do is to, you know, cut our potatoes. 
All right, so now look, I take my kosher salt. This is a coarse grind and I just give it a little bit of a, I give it a couple little small pinches. We want to season it up and get it right. Don't forget we doing potatoes folks, so you know it's going to take, it's going to take some salt. All right, everybody, so listen, if you look over here, you can see we got this going. The onions are looking nice and soft. Now we're starting to soften up, you know, our bell peppers, right? So we're not going to touch it. We're going to let it brown and soften. Now, I got this potato in my hand, right? You guys can use really whatever you like. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit more partial. Instead of using russets, I like to use them yellow potatoes, right? Yukon, gold, whatever you guys want to call them. Now, I just want to show you this part right here. You don't have to use a mandolin, you know what I mean? Because everybody not gonna have this. And you guys let me know down in the comment section below how many of y'all are even scared of the mandolin? You know what I mean? Uh, but if you use it properly, you shouldn't have no issues, right? So I'm gonna take it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, just cut a couple. And now I wanna take a look at it. Let's see. Look at this thickness right here. That right there is good. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, I could go a little smaller, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And we just finna, Go ahead and get these going. And you guys know the purpose of us making them uniform here so that they all be ready at the same time. These are about a quarter of an inch. Look at that. These are nice, right? So let me go ahead and do these. I'm not gonna put them in no water because I don't wanna have to like try to dry them out or nothing like that. We'll just go ahead, take this out, put this there, stab him on the top, and now we work. All right, so look, this is about as far as I want to go. I'm not trying to really do a full-on set of grilled onions, right? They gonna get like that anyway a little bit, but what we want to do is we want us to go ahead, because we didn't put this in no water, right? So now we go ahead and add our potatoes, right? Now these gonna need to steam. One thing I should have said from the very beginning, it'd be nice to use a skillet that has a uh, top, because all of that comes into play, right? So check that out, we'll just drop this in here like that. Even this piece right here is good. All right. <clears throat> Some of y'all was looking at it and was thinking like, man, I don't think he's going to have enough potato. But you see this right here? Now I'm going to show you something that's key. You got to listen to this. This is the pro tip. While these are still hard, right? That's when you want to come ahead and add all of your seasoning on here, right? This is when we start adding that. And this right here is this, folks. If you want to know, like when I do baked potatoes and all of that, this is what you're tasting, right? It's that premium sea salt, smoky flavor. Trust me. And then we got to have a little pepper. Right? Now that we have that, now I'm going to move this around. If you need to add a little bit of more avocado uh, oil, it's okay. You can add a little bit. You don't want to add too much. Let me just show you. So you see it now? That's about all we're gonna need, right? Cause we're gonna do what we call like a little halfway fry, but we wanna make sure all of the seasonings get on everything, right? And before they get soft, because we're doing a lot of tumbling right now, that's why we add it while the potatoes are hard. All right, so now I'm finna give you another pro tip. When you're doing the potatoes, now that I got everything coated, I like what I see, you know what I mean? Uh, this is perfect. Now I'm getting ready to let them work. I'm not gonna put the lid on or nothing right now, I just want to go ahead and let them touch the bottom, get some of that, you know, immaculate, some of that real heat, and we wanted to get them a little crusty. After that, we're going to tumble them as they start breaking up and, you know, on the edges and stuff like that. That's when we put the top on. But right now, we're going to quit moving them and we're going to let them work. All right, so what I did was I flipped them over. You want them to start looking like this, and then you want to move some of the other ones to get them a chance to get a little bit of crispy and dark around, you know, on the flat side, right? So when they start looking like that, that's why I just flipped it over, right? Look at this one right here. Oh yeah, look at that side. Okay, that one was already done. So you gotta do your best, but right now they're starting to soften up, right? So here is probably about the time that I would go ahead and just say, let's put that lid on, right? So take this lid, put it over here. I'm gonna put it like this so it'll let, you know, some of my steam out. I mean, but it's gonna keep the bulk of it in there and now we finna get, let these potatoes get nice and soft. Let me go ahead and take this off. Right, I can look at it and I kinda like stirred it before. You see how this is? Look, they kinda like just come on there. If I hold them down like that, just give them any little bit of a turn. These is ready. Now, if you wanna break them up, you can. So let me go ahead and turn this off. You know what I mean? Uh, oh man, 
I don't know where to begin. Hey, let's get this one right here. Look at that one right there, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ain't nothing like potatoes and onions, folks. Hey, so check this out, folks. Listen, after I stuck the toothpick in there and I had the texture that I liked, right? You guys watched me. I put it in. Let me pause real fast because what I'm saying. After I sampled, I was going to say put it in my mouth, but you know, as I sampled the, you know, the potatoes, you know, it was just right. You know what? I better stop right there. I didn't even want to do another taste test because I can tell you this right here is fire. If I'm not careful, I'll be to knock this off myself. You see my size. Hey, so with that being said, let me know what other veggies you would have put in here. Yeah, I, I did the red bell pepper. Man, I could have did red, yellow, green. Uh, I could have did all of them separately, a combination of those. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do with this to level it up, right? And I got to say this too. Put this out. Don't say nothing to nobody. And right off the back, just because of the way they look, they're going to say, I know these ain't frozen. Hey, so with that being said, listen, I'm not finna ramble. I'm going to read these comments. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what, folks? I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one right here. Oh, my goodness. I'm out. Peace.